Tonight, we're asking the question, what happens to the leftover vials of vaccines so they aren't misused? News Channel 3's Danny Romero got some answers. At a time where there aren't enough shots to meet the demand, tracking each and every vial of the COVID vaccine is essential. You get this feeling that you're, you're almost holding liquid gold. Desert Oasis Healthcare isn't letting any COVID vaccine go to waste. They've started a rapid on-call list for unused doses at the end of each day. When you are getting to that 3.30, 4 o'clock hour, you do need people who are close to whichever campus you're operating. So in India, we're looking for people who are close to the East Valley, uh, Palm Springs is the West Valley. The opportunity is open to their patients under current county vaccination guidelines, but for many it could be a luck of the draw depending on the day. We might have extra doses because we have gotten uh, a seventh dose that we didn't expect or somebody no shows at the very end of the day and we've already drawn up the vial, the syringes from that vial. At Eisenhower Health, a spokesperson tells us they've had less than 30 minutes to find people to vaccinate. They've called RSO, EMS providers and patients 65 and older to drive over on a short notice. This can occur multiple times a day since the vaccine is thawed in batches of a six hour window. It's really rare that at our county clinics where we have any leftover doses at the end of the day. But with limited vaccines, Riverside County is making sure every single dose is put to use. We look to make sure how many people are currently scheduled throughout the day and we are strictly following the uh, requirements on removing the vials of vaccine from storage and breaking seals and in accordance uh, with the number of hours we have to use that vaccine. Danny Romero, News Channel 3. And if you want to try to get on a, lo a local waiting list to be called in case there are leftover doses, we've put a link on our website, KESQ.com.